Yeah, can I have your attention, please? Let's we'll start the meeting. Thank you. Make, please make sure you silent all your phones. We don't want any phones going off. Okay, thank you. Go ahead, uh, Norm. Good evening. Welcome to the reorganization meeting of the Township of Parsippany Troy Hills Board of Adjustment. Today is Wednesday, January 15th, 2020, and it's 7.30 p.m. Announcement is made that adequate notice of this meeting has been made and is given, has been conducted in accordance with the NJSA 10 colon 4 dash 6 at SEC of the New Jersey Open Public Meetings Act. And that notice of this meeting has been provided by the board secretary to the Daily Record and Star Ledger, published December 6, 2019, by stating the time, place, and date of all regularly, regularly scheduled meetings and by filing a copy with the municipal clerk. If we could all rise for the flag salute. At this point, our board attorney will swear in our reappointed members. Uh, Nancy Schneider. Schneider. Schneider, yes. Yes, and my it's my uh, New Jersey accent. <laughs> Repeat after me. I state your name. I, Nancy Snyder. You solemnly swear or affirm. You solemnly swear or affirm. I will support the Constitution of the United States. And I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And to the governments established in the United States. And to the governments established in the United States. And in this state. And in this state. Under the authority of the people, so help me God. Under the authority of the people, so help me God. I do, fur I do further solemnly swear. I do further solemnly swear. That I will impartially. That I will impartially. And justly. And justly. Perform all the duties. Perform of, all the duties. Of the office of the Board of Adjustment Regular Member of Township of Parsip and Troy Hills. Of the office of Board of Adjustment Regular Member of Township of Parsip and Troy Hills. According to the best of my ability, so help me God. According to the best of my ability, so help me God. Congratulations. Now, if I could call up uh, Mr. David Kaplan. Thank you. Thank you. Good day, mm -hmm. And holding the Bible is your wife. Are they getting married? <laughs> no. Well, there's no way. <laughs> I state your name. I, David Kaplan. Do solemnly swear or affirm. Do solemnly swear or affirm. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And that I will bear true faith and allegiance, allegiance to the same. And that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And to the governments established in the United States. And to the governments established in the United States. And in this state. And in this state. Under the authority of the people, so help me God. Under the authority of the people, so help me God. I do further solemnly swear. I do further solemnly swear. That I will impartially and justly. That I will impartially and justly. Perform all the duties of the office of the Board of Adjustment regular member attached to the of Troy Hills. Perform all the duties of the office of the Board of Adjustment regular member attached to the of Troy Hills. According to the best of my ability, so help me God. According to the best of my ability, so help me God. Congratulations. Yeah. At this point, I would like to take nominations for chairman. I would like to nom nominate uh, Bob Ari Kane for chairman, please. Second. 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 Will and second. Any other nominations? At this point, I'd like to take nom uh, nomination to close. A so motion moved. to close nominations. So moved. Second, second Snyder. Okay. Uh, we'll have roll call. For Chairman, Mr. Berkowitz? Yes. Mr. Joskowitz? Yes. Mr. Kaplan? Yes. Mr. Parikh? Yes. Mr. Passad? Yes. Mr. Reddy? Yes. Ms. Snyder? Yes. Mr. Willens? Yes. Chairman Ira came. Uh, abstain. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Chairman takes over. Okay. Uh, I'm looking for nominations for Vice Chair. I can do it again? Yeah, I'd like to nominate Nancy Schneider, please. Second. Any discussion? 
<coughs> Any other nominations? Move to close nominations. So moved. I think we can do it by acclamation. Okay. <coughs> I don't think we need roll call, do we? No. Nope. All in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Okay. All Thank right. You. Uh, now we have to appoint our secretary. Is there a motion to appoint the secretary? So you? moved. Three, who are you? Second, Eddie. Who are you appointing? Nora. Nora. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the sheet. <laughs> Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Okay. Uh, our board attorney. I have a motion to appoint a board attorney. Yeah, Peter King, Atani. Second. Any other nominations? Motion to close nominations. So moved, Snyder. Uh, any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Okay, congratulations. Now I have a motion to uh, appoint the, the uh, board planner. John Chadwick. Okay, is there a second? Jaskowitz. Thank you. Any, uh, any other nominations? Move to close nominations. So moved, Snyder. Uh, any, any further discussion? Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Okay. And I think this is the last one, right? Uh, Mr. Holloway, Charles Holloway from Keller and Kirkpatrick. So moved. Second, Second. Snyder. Any discussion? Motion, motion to close nominations. So moved, Snyder. Uh, Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Okay. Uh, I guess that is it. Well, I'd just like to wish everyone a happy new year in this great town of Parsippany, Troy Hills. I have lived for 48 plus years, and this board is very concerned about the town. It's also, I'm sorry. This board is concerned about this town. We're concerned about the residents, but we're also concerned about people who want to make applications for zoning of variances and that's that is our mandate we, we are required to you know hear these cases and they're not always uh, these cases may not always be pleasant to everyone but we still have to hear them and I'm expecting the members of this public to be gentlemen and ladies there'll be no catcalling there, I will, when we, once we get into the case, I will explain the procedures that we follow, okay? So, um, without further ado, I believe we have one residential case. Oh, no, we have a resolution to approve. Resolution 1954. Mr. Chairman, I move application number 1954 for approval. Is there a second? Second, ready. Any discussion? Nora, call the roll. Mr. Berkowitz. Yes. Mr. Joskowitz. Yes. Mr. Parikh. Yes. Mr. Reddy. Second. Yes. Chairman Ira King. There's another one. 1918. Okay, and there's also 1918, Pacific Outdoor Advertising. Do I have uh, Mr. Chairman, I move we uh, approve application number 19, call it 18. Second will. Well uh, David? Yes. David. Second. Yeah. All right. Um, Mr. Any discussion? Nora, call the roll. Mr. Berkowitz? Yes. Mr. Joskowitz? Yes. Mr. Kaplan? Can I, can I just get hey. clarification oh, on this one? Is I'm this sorry. What I voted no on? You yes. voted yes. no. That's okay. correct. Mr. Parikh? Yes. Mr. Reddy? Yes. <coughs> yes. Mr. Willand? Yes. Chairman Arakane? Yes. I think that takes care of our housekeeping. Yep. No letters or anything? All right, let's get into the uh, uh, residential case. This would be case number 1960. Can you please come forward, Mr. Patel? Come up to the uh, chairs and you can use the microphones. Will you, will you both be testifying or? You are, all right, so Mr. King was going to swear you in, okay? Raise your right hand. Do you swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give before the board's truce to help you got? Yes. And for the record, can you state and spell your name? Kuldeep Patel, K-U-L-D-E-E-P-P-A-T-E-L. And you're the owner of the Civic property? Yes, sir. And what is that address? 36 Hamilton Road, Parsipani, NJ 07054. Thank you, you're sworn. So, Mr. Patel, you're looking to um, legalize a 364 square foot driveway expansion. 
Um, you're looking for some variances on setbacks, I guess that is, plan and design standards, plan and design standards, setback and size of driveways. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the driveway and why it needs to be as big as it, as it is? Yes. So myself and my wife both are physical handicapped okay. and uh, specifically in a snow season and in a winter season like we are uh, using special aid like uh, clutchers and uh, uh, like our wheelchairs mm -hmm. uh, and it is getting very difficult to get out from the car okay. while we are driving. So that's the reason and she's working in second shift, time working in first shift. So it's it's very difficult for us to manage with that. So and this house we bought last year. So we find like difficulty in snow. So that's the reason. Okay. And you like to park your cars off the street yes. also, right? Yeah, yeah. How many cars in your family? Four car. Four cars. Okay. Do you have a garage or not? We do have a garage. Have a garage. One car only. One car only. Any other questions by the board? No. Any members of the public have any questions of this witness on the testimony given this evening? I hear none and see none. Is there anything else you'd like to add? No. There's nothing else you'd like to add, right? Pardon, sir? There's nothing else that you'd like to add, right? Yeah, yeah. And also, like, sir, while we are coming out of the driveway, like, there is an electric pole, which is which is in little bit right side of the driveway so that also like makes us very okay uncomfortable you don't want us to take the pole down no no okay. we don't <laughs> just, just check okay uh, are any members of the public who wish to speak in opposition to this application in support of this application i hear none and see none someone like to make a recommendation here I will, Mr. Chair. I'll Thank be you. voting for this. This is a de minimis ask that uh, enhances his quality of life at his place of residence there a second? Josh Goods. Any discussion? No. Laura, call the roll. Mr. Berkowitz? Yes. Mr. Joskowitz? Yes. Mr. Kaplan? Yes. Mr. Prasad? Yes. Mr. Reddy? Yes. Ms. Snyder? Yes. Mr. Willens? Yes. Chairman Ira Kane? Yes. The result is the variance is granted. We'll memorialize this at our next meeting, which is the 29th, but you'll, you'll just get paperwork indicating that everything's been approved. Okay, so it, is, it is approved. Yes. Thank yes. you very much. You're welcome. Really Good, appreciate it. Good luck. Thanks. Okay. Now the fun begins. We'll find out what's on. Okay, okay let's uh, let's call case nineteen fifty six GTP acquisitions. The attorney representing uh, GTP here. Mr. Chair, uh, before we um, start, I just need to address uh, counsel. Um, there was an uh, objection from the attorney for a number of people here. They brought up certain issues with regard to your notice, uh, right. uh, one being uh, on your notice it doesn't indicate that there's a restaurant or a bar. Um, before we do any of this, yes. I, have a court, I have a reporter, and I would like all of this to be part of the record. It's fine. I thought we said she. Set up. I thought we said that she could set up. Yeah, she's supposed to be set up. Yeah, she, she was here a while, a while ago. I told her go ahead and set up. Was here. Yeah. Is the court reporter out in the hall? Hmm? We're not going to have this. That object. Well, let, 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 me, let me just say one thing. At this point, um, we have a overflow crowd. And, and, in, and in fair, and fair, being fair to everyone, we need a venue that will handle a bigger crowd, okay? So I just want to get some preliminary stuff done tonight, and, and, and based on some of the conversations I've had with Mr. King, we're going to get some housekeeping done, and then for all intents and purposes, we're going to carry this case. Are to you, is, by, by that comment, do you mean that um, we can get done the, the, the uh, you can hear you. those items? Let's bring it to the mic. Is that better? Yeah. Yep. Is that on? You, you can, can take that. Take you can take it out. By that, take by it that out. do you mean that we'll take care of whatever um, um, items 
don't require testimony and we'll have wit no witnesses tonight and put the witnesses off for another night? We are not going to hear any witnesses okay. tonight. Right. That's, that's, a, that's an affirmative. Okay. okay. I think there's just a couple of housekeeping things that we have sure. to go over. And once we've cleared those things, we will figure out. I'm probably going to say we carry this case for two weeks to the 20. Oh, all right. Let's go on. Well, let's, okay. you know, we're, right, no, we have I, to determine. We have to determine. To, so anyway. Um, Chairman, who, if I may. May I be heard? My name is Jim Bryce. I'm an attorney. I submitted the objection, the letter of objection. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought he was the, the other attorney. Okay. No. The, all right. I'm not in any way associated with this gentleman. I, okay. I don't know who he is. Um, no way before we do this, I do have a question. She's about to set up. Fine. So whatever we're going to do. Uh, two, mi two minutes. Two minutes. Let her set up unless we can make it part of the record. And I, then I think what I'm going to say may obviate the need for that. That's why I want to actually enter my appearance and enter an objection at this point in time. Well, we're going to get to that. Objection. It's not as to even jurisdiction, Mr. Chairman. Okay. We, we will hear it, hear it from you. But one thing I'm going to need from you is a list of all the homeowners. The I do have that. that. That you represent. I do have We're going to need that. I want that to get to Nora, okay? I have that. Thank you. It's not the first time. I'll give you this. No, that's okay. I don't want to. Chairman, the court reporter is into the mic. Yes. Please speak into the mic. It doesn't work. It works. You got to speak into it. Is that better? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. All right. I'll say it again. Mr. Chairman, the court reporter is available, and whatever the process is that you're intending, I'm prepared to inject, okay. engage in it. First thing I think we're going to address is the two um, emails that were sent out. And I would appreciate in the future that you guys lose my work email, okay? Don't send me any more emails. Send them to Nora, she will alert me, okay? Because I still work and I don't, I don't want to be interrupted when I see something like this. So just don't, don't send them to my, my business mail, okay? Uh, so, may I? Yeah, we're right here, yes. Uh, there's one issue that was raised by uh, the council for um, a number of, I guess, residents. Uh, and that is the uh, sufficiency of the notice. Uh, in the notice, it doesn't appear to indicate that there's a proposed restaurant, a bar at this site. There's a case on point, um, the um, Pond Run, uh, where they, the same thing occurred. Uh, there, it was a restaurant, was not on the um, notice, and the appellate uh, court said that was fatal in, in notice. I don't want to see that happen. I don't want to go through um, multiple days of um, testimony, so I am concerned that there's an issue with notice. Just, just so we're clear, um, there is an eating venue in this facility. The eating venue's principal use is for the residents who reside there. If, however, a, a visitor comes and wants to have dinner with grandma, they would be able to sit there. Is it a restaurant as such and open to the public where the public would come in and where anyone would go stop in for dinner? The answer is no. Would it allow friends? Well, if a friend wanted to come in and have dinner with a resident, yes, they so could come in. You're talking about visitors. Now. But it's not, it's not some place that someone would go for a restaurant for dinner. Yeah. Is it purchased? Pardon me? Is the food purchased? I'm or sorry. They, is the food purchased? Is the food the purchased? Comes, are they purchase, is there a transaction being Well, if, if, if I went in to visit grandma, mm -hmm. would they charge me for the dinner mm -hmm. that, yes, they okay. wouldn't charge me. They would put it on the bill of grandma because she lives there gotcha. and she would be eating dinner there on a regular mm -hmm. basis. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I, I wouldn't come in and say, I'm gonna have dinner and, yeah. and just have a dinner as an independent person or go in there with my wife and say, I'm here for dinner. Gotcha. That wouldn't happen. Okay, C Council. My, again, my concern is that this could jeopardize. I'm not concerned about it. Well, and, I am because I, and because and I'll tell you why. 
the case that was cited talked about a restaurant with a liquor license that was uh, <laughs> not indicated in the notice. Presumed. This is not a restaurant with a liquor license. This is a um, this is a facility which, in my notice, indicates that there is a uh, there is a facility for providing uh, of an eating venue. I, I, my, my recommendation, because we're not going to hear any testimony today, it may be to, to take this issue out of this hearing, is maybe you notice with that in there. I think that resolves our problem. Yeah. Okay. I don't have, by the way, I don't have a problem doing that, and I will do that. So whatever issue is raised by council with respect to that, um, I don't believe there's a genuine issue legally, but I'll cure whatever it is to the extent that he raises the issue. May I just have a moment? Yes. Mr. Chairman, thanks. Um, Mr. Chairman, members of the board, my name is Jim Bryce. I'm from the law firm Murphy McCune, appearing on behalf of uh, the Friends of Green Space, and I was retained by Nick Napolitano, who sits to my left and your right. Um, at this point in time, there's some substantive discussion regarding the notice. I think that that's even improper. The hearing should not be open for any type of substantive di discussion at this point in time. Not only is the uh, meeting room filled to overcapacity, so is the building. The fire marshal has indicated that. And any discussion of any substantive nature as to this hearing would be a violation of the Open Public Meetings Act. So for that reason, while I do appreciate the need to try and clean up and, and advise the applicant of concerns regarding notice, and I, I and counsel for the board, I do appreciate the, uh, the, the opinion that was given as well. I think that any type of substantive discussion regarding either the notice, any type of procedure, or the substance itself as far as testimony is improper under the Open Public Meetings Act, given the crowd that we have here today. And I'd ask that this hearing be adjourned to a different venue at a different time. It's a done, it's a done deal. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. We've, 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 all, we've already indicated a different yeah. venue. Hey, I'm ladies sorry. and gentlemen, down. I don't need a peanut gallery out there, OK? There, there is no violation of the Open Public Meetings Act as such because, it's, look, it's all because the crowd is so it. great. Look, I, have, I have the authority to, to carry this case to, to another venue that will seat everyone. Okay? Fine. And I, I said before, this board is very pro Persephone, the residents, <coughs> but we're also willing to give the applicants their fair share of testimony. Okay? Right. So um, since we're going to notice, again, we don't have to carry this meeting. However, we're going to need Nora to find us a spot and find us a date. So will you be in, both of the attorneys be in contact with Nora? So it's not, not possible to find a date tonight? No, because we, so that we, we don't know. have to go to school. I, I don't, the Board of I don't control the Board of Education. Besides that, you have to re-notice. Yes, yeah, so I will be available for. All right, you'll be in contact with Nora then. She's got your contact information? Yes, she does. Okay. Thank you. So we, we have to coordinate with the school board. Yeah. There's one thing, there's one venue that would fit this application, and that's the Liquid Church. Liquid Church has a beautiful sound system and uh, hundreds and hundreds of chairs. Uh, that would be my preference to go there, because I've had meetings at the high schools, and they are, the sound system is not great, the way that we have to set up is not great. We're going to do the best we can to find a place that will accommodate everyone, okay? I will be in touch with Nora, okay. and uh, uh, hopefully I, I, I'd like to get it started uh, as early as we can, of course. And uh, we're going to do and, the best we can. And I'm sure I'm sure you do as well. Okay. All right. So, w would we regard that then as being a meeting that you will set, would, which would be a special meeting rather than a usual meeting night for the board? Uh, I don't know. Because that is true, no. you would have to. The board We'd have would, to notice in addition to my notice, the yeah. board would have to publish it as a special meeting. Of course. <coughs> I don't know what our schedule's like right now. Yeah, um, Dora, I'm not going to be here on the 29th, by the way. Okay. <laughs> what's, what's on that? My night? first, my first oh, full no. open yeah. date is April 8th. But just uh, if I w might make a suggestion or a request, really, uh, with the amount of people that are here who are interested in it, if. Um, 
And with the nature of the application that I'm, I'm, that I'm going to make, uh, I would suggest that a special meeting night, rather than a meeting night when you have your other uh, business on, would behoove everybody because then everybody who's here interested in this application won't have to sit through all the others. And I think if you devote a full evening to it, you'll get more accomplished than you would if you took it. We're, we're always faced with residential applications, and we have time limits. I would not put, if I put one or two on, you saw how fast my, I do it right. residential, okay? And 99% of them go that way. So I'm, I'm telling you that it might be two residentials, it might be one residential, might be nothing, might be a special meeting, might be a regularly scheduled meeting where we we'll change the venue. My hands are tied right now. I don't know. So, um, li ladies and gentlemen, I, I hope you understand what's gone, gone on here. We're, we're carrying this case, and everyone who, got no everyone who was in two within 200 feet of the application will get a formal notice. Anybody else who lives beyond the 200 feet, I would recommend that you read Persephone Focus, because they seem to be the only uh, game in town when it comes to, sh to news and hopefully Nora will make sure that it gets into the precipitate focus so that, and you read that online, I'm sure everyone here, yeah, everyone, does any, anybody know what I'm talking about? Yeah. The focus? <laughs> Everybody's got such a blank stare. Come on, give me some enthusiasm. <laughs> so, uh, this, that's, that's how you're gonna find out. Yeah, so do I, yeah, two we houses. All, we all do. Excuse me, excuse me. Do you want to get thrown out? You want to get thrown out right now? I'll do it. I'll do it. Sir, why does it have to be thrown out? Because I told them, I told them this meeting is done in a quasi-judicial procedure. We do not we do not have people opening their mouth and making statements. The only people that can make statements are those that are sworn. And if you want to be an objector, I'll bring you up here. I'll swear you in, just like every one of his witnesses. Don't wave your hand at me. That's the way we do it, okay? okay. And my wife told me not to get upset tonight. <laughs> so I'm not getting upset. <laughs> my wife would like me to come home. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Um, Anything else? Mr. No? Chairman, uh, just uh, because of the, uh, obviously, the uh, interest in this case, uh, we do have planned meetings, as you know. And, and uh, <laughs> I, I think in this particular case, because uh, of the interest in the community and from this board, uh, we might want to try and, and talk about a, a special meeting to deal with it, as, as Councilor has asked. I, I would support that, quite frankly, in this case. So would I. I have no problem with that, but we have to, we have to get a venue. Yeah. yeah okay. okay. Right. As soon as we get a venue, we find out available okay. dates, okay. and the board can make it. Is there any way of finding out how many witnesses we're looking at or time? Uh, I know all these people are going to want to speak, but maybe uh, the injectors uh, present enough testimony. Uh, you know, we want to hear duplicate testimony. But we're going to need several nights. Oh, without, without a doubt. Yeah. Without a doubt. Maybe five without, or six. Without, without, without. Uh, what, I, what I'll do, Mr. Chairman, is I'll, I'll talk to uh, the attorneys and try to um, get, get a list of attorneys for the applicant, uh, objector, you know, objectors, uh, witnesses, and I'll, we'll try to come together um, with some plan where not everyone is coming up here with the same question to try to streamline it. Uh, that way, uh, we're not wasting everyone's time. We're we're, we're getting the information on the record in the, in this in the fastest and um, most organized way. I, I agree. And I have one question uh, of the board, and that is uh, as to your policy cutoff time. So, if I know about how much time we're going to have, I know what to prepare so we can do this in a. We we normally go from 7:30 to 10. If I see at approaching 7:30. Uh, at 10 o'clock that we're winding down on a witness we may stay a little bit longer Fine. but the days of me staying here until 1 o'clock in the morning are long gone okay, I mean, right. I've done that and right. well, it's not it's not fair to the board because no, you know we start the to board has said that the we, board we board start board. to zone out you work all day board. and you sit at a board all night the uh, everybody slows down towards yeah. the end oh, or, the, or is it's not fair to the or audience who have to go to work and okay so thank you for the time tonight I'm brought everybody out, but I hope they're uh, 
Uh, I, I hope they understand that we just want to make the application as best we can. We'll listen to your concerns and we look forward to engaging in the process. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Is there any other business, Nora? No other business. Okay. Thank you, Chair. Thank you. Uh, a motion to adjourn? So moved, Snyder. So moved. All in favor? Second. Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. <coughs> <coughs>